Hello and welcome to Cecil Says. Uh, today is a review of Mandalorian Episode 2. Uh, it was excellent. I, I really enjoyed it. It had a lot of uh, fan service, which was good. I know people complain about it. I, lo I love it. I, I'm, they're making up for uh, all the other shit they did at the Disney movies. Uh, I like the Ugnaught there, played by uh, Nick Nolte. He was a good character. We had the Jawas in this episode. I have to say, I did change my mind on where I think the um, direction of this series is going. Of my After the first episode, I thought it was going to be a space western where he goes from town to town. It's a perfect setup for Bounty Hunter. He can, you know, take a new assignment each week and go to a different planet. And you could really explore the galaxy uh, as, a, as a Bounty Hunter. That's a great way. And it could be like a western. He goes and helps or gets into an adventure. Uh but after watching this episode with Baby Yoda, I thought, oh, uh, other, other, uh, there's going to be spoilers. Other, so, other fan service they had was, uh, you know, the Jawas getting blown up by Boba Fett. Uh, then these guys, uh, what are they called? Th Thandoshans? Yeah, I think the Thandoshans, they're, they're like the lizard people. Bosk was one in Empire Strike Back. He finds out in this episode that other bounty hunters are after him, just like, uh, the robot in the first episode, the uh, bounty droid. Uh, now he he, he uh, gets attacked by a group of uh, uh, Thandoshans, and uh, he actually gets his ass kicked, you know, a bit. That's another thing about the show that's great. It's 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 uh, I think John Favreau trying to tell Kathleen Kennedy and the gang, like, you know, the hero has to be at risk, otherwise it's not fun, it's not interesting. So uh, you see uh, that the Mand Mandalorian really gets his ass handed to him all throughout the episode uh you know he gets cut up by these guys actually baby yoda tries to, to tries to heal him but uh he won't let him he, he doesn't know what he's trying to do uh he uh he gets robbed by the jawas uh he can't he even gets electrocuted by them he can't get his shit back he's uh the hero but he has to humiliate himself a little bit and uh work to get his own property back. So they send him on a, a dangerous quest, the Jawas, uh, in order to get his own property back. He has to uh, go on a dangerous quest. Uh, once, he, once he goes on the quest, he takes little floating Baby Yoda with him in that little uh, basket. There he is. He, fi a, he takes floating Baby Yoda with him, and that's when I realized this is not going to be a... Um, a, a gunslinger, but rather, uh, oh, see, Baby Yoda saves his life. He's he's almost gets killed by this uh, by this giant um, by this giant uh, rhino creature, and uh, the Jawas sent uh, him to go get something from this creature. Baby Yoda's with them and ends up levitating the thing and saving the Mandalorian's life, and he gets all like tuckered out from doing it. He gets sick. He uses all his power. So he saves the Mandalorian's life. And that, what I think is going to happen now is instead of doing the gunslinger, they're going to do the samurai. Because there used to be a, a TV series. My uncle used to make me watch this. I don't know. It's like nine years old, ten years old. In Brooklyn, he would always, Cecil, Cecil, you got to look at this. And he'd have uh, all these discs of, uh, of uh, it was called Lone Wolf and Cub or Shogun Assassin. I think Shogun Assassin is the movie from 1980 or they might be the name the same thing but just in different countries i don't know lone wolf and cub was also a uh, comic book series um uh frank miller did the covers for it i have them loaded up in here too i'll show you but what happened is in shogun assassin the uh the samurai works for the shogun and then uh the shogun becomes see this is the part that made me think of lone wolf and cub when he's doing these dangerous uh, missions and he's got the baby in the carriage with him, I was like, and then, you know, Yoda helps him out, baby Yoda helps him out in the Shogun Assassin show. Ba the baby has like weapons in his cart and actually, you know, fucks people up with the weapons. So I think they're going to go that angle, which is cool. No one's done it in, I don't know, 1980 was probably the last time. So, uh, yeah, you know, like 
sword fighter, gunslinger. So he's going to be on the run, just like in that show, he was on the run from the uh, Shogun. Uh, he, uh, the samurai was ordered to kill himself, and uh, he takes off because the Shogun has gone crazy. So I think they kill his wife, and then um, him, and his, him and the baby have to go on the run. And every episode was like him going to another town, and he's a samurai for hire. And he would help some uh, an injustice. Think the A team. Think you know each episode you hire. So this is probably what's going to happen here. He's probably going to abscond with Baby Yoda because he owes Baby Yoda his life. He saved his life, and uh, he's going to be on the run. They're going to have ba- bounty hunters coming after them, and uh, I think that's a great premise. He'll probably go from planet to planet. We could explore this whole expanded universe. Uh, here, here's the. Uh, Shogun assassin. So that's him in the baby carriage, and like, yeah, he's like a sword for hire. You see the little pipes on the side. Oh, I'm just blocked by this girl. All right, move out of the way, lady. So, yeah, Shogun assassin. It says five films. There were five films, or was that the TV series? I gotta check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into Shogun Assassin tonight. I I watched them as a as a kid. Uh, most people know it from the RZA album, Liquid Swords. It's there's the Frank Miller art. Uh, the RZA album, fuck, one of the greatest rap albums, maybe my favorite rap album uh, is Liquid Swords by RZA and, they, and they, the, on the song Liquid Swords they do the intro from from uh, Shogun Assassin where the baby is describing what happens to his father he's like, I, he was the Shogun's head uh, decapitator and then uh, the Shogun went crazy so they're on the run, he tells that story that album is great. Listen to RZA. So I got two things. I'm probably going to listen to RZA tonight. I am going to... Uh, I think I'm going to go and look up that 1980 Shogun Assassin movie and watch it. And I think that's where John Favreau is uh, pulling inspiration from. And I think uh, I think it's a good idea. I think it's... I, I think a, a Westerns and Samurai movies have a lot in common of like, you know, the... That, that man with no name, man on the run or whatever comes into town. Townspeople need him. So he's going to be on the run with Baby Yoda. Uh, I like it. Some people are complaining. Most people like it. I would say this episode was not, I was not bored for a moment. I give this episode a 9 out of 10. Near perfect. Really just dug the, I dug the whole thing. And I really, like I said, I enjoyed that he got his ass kicked and had to overcome uh, adversity. Uh, it, it's refreshing considering what Disney's been shitting out with with Ray. So I recommend this. Do I recommend uh, you know renting Disney Plus? I'm using my friend's uh, username and password. He uses my uh, Netflix. Uh, I would do shit like that. I, I have a hard time giving Disney uh, money, consider they covered for Epstein and let him abuse kids for three more years because they buried a story. Uh, for a kid's company, I'm having a hard time with that. But biz- Disney sucks, but Mandalorian doesn't. So uh, I have to give an honest review. The show is good. Uh, the company sucks, but I don't know. Yeah, try to share your passwords, have, especially with like Hulu and uh, HBO+. Plus. If one of your friends has one and then shares it out and then the other one has, get like a group of four or five of you do that. Uh, fuck Disney. Fuck Epstein. Uh, but Mandalorian was good. Uh, if you like this uh, content, please subscribe. Please hit the like button and leave a comment. I need some like interaction. Even if you just say hello or hello in the comments, that would be enough just to have interaction. It helps the video out. I appreciate it. I love you all, and I will see you for episode three. Maybe I'll live stream or do another video, too. I was going to do a video on Taxi Driver and Joker. I don't know. Uh, take care.